We got a clinical case. Let's go. A 28-year-old woman presents to the emergency department with sharp left lower abdominal pain and light vaginal bleeding. Sharp left lower abdominal pain and light vaginal bleeding. 28. Uh -huh. She reports that her last menstrual period was seven weeks ago. On examination, she is pale with a heart rate 110 beats per minute and blood pressure 960 mercury. 96. Uh, a urine pregnancy. A urine pregnancy test is positive. Okay, now understand. Transvaginal ultrasound shows no intrauterine gestational sac and left at nexal mass with free fluid in the pouch of Douglas. So what is the most likely diagnosis? No, of course. Huh? Uh, give me options. Incomplete spontaneous abortion. No. Uh, ruptured ectopic pregnancy. That's it. Ovarian torsion. No. Hemorrhage ovarian cyst. So the correct option is a ruptured ectopic pregnancy. Of course. Why the other options are incorrect? Incomplete spontaneous abortion. In these conditions, my beloved, products of conception remain in the uterus and after partial expulsion. Ultrasound would typically show retained tissue in the uterine cavity, not an empty uterus with a nexal mass. And hemodynamic instability with free uh, peritoneal fluid is not typical for incomplete abortion. Ovarian torsion, okay, ovarian torsion causes sudden, severe pelvic pain and sometimes nausea, vomiting. Uh, how torsion is not associated with positive pregnancy test? Definitely, and vaginal bleeding. Free intraperitoneal fluid in pregnant woman strongly favors ectopic rupture the, for, rather than torsion. Uh, and hemorrhagic ovarian cyst uh, can cause acute pelvic pain and free fluid in, if ruptured, but it does not explain, my beloved, a seven-week missed period, positive pregnancy test, and absence of intrauterine pregnancy. So in this case, the clinical context and the nexal mass in a pregnant woman point much more strongly, strongly to ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy. So, my beloved, correct answer, ruptured ectopic pregnancy. Why? He explains all findings, missed period, abdominal pain, vaginal bleeding, positive test, adnexal mass, hemoperitoneal, hypertension. Uh, this, this is a true life-threatening emergency, by the way, requiring urgent, urgent surgical or interventional management. Get it? Stay blessed.